In this Thrive Team Builder tutorial, we are gonna go over the options available in the right sidebar when editing a template. So when using this editor, the right sidebar can come in very handy since this is where you can find various elements that you can add to your template to customize it. Furthermore, you can use the options from here to edit the theme colors or to switch to the Thrive Architect editor. So let's jump right into the process of using all these options. So when you first access this editor, this is how the right sidebar would look like. From the top, we have the list of elements that we can access from here. This is very similar to the one available in the Thrive Architect editor. And the process of adding elements to your template is the same. The only thing that slightly varies are the elements from within this list. So whilst most of them are identical to the ones you find in the Thrive Architect editor, you also have some template specific elements that can only be used when editing a Thrive Team Builder template. Such is the case for the article components section from here. And all these elements have separate articles in our knowledge base, so you can find them there if you want to read more about how to use them. So if you want to add an element to your template, all you have to do is find it here in this list and then drag and drop it onto your template as you best see fit. Its options will appear in the left sidebar right away. Now the next option we are going to talk about is the central style panel. So this is where you can change your colors. There are two major sections here, the master template colors and the other template colors. Under the master template colors section, you will find the main accent colors of the template, but you can reset them if you want and pick something else from these color pickers. The other template colors section gathers all the colors that are used across this template. You can adjust the colors of the headings, of the text, of the dark elements, for example, like the ones that are available here in the header. So I'm just gonna open this color picker and you can see that as I drag this around, the color of the dark elements from my header changes. So you just have to play around here and see how changing something from here reflects in your actual template. Then you have the conditional display options. And these are not applicable when editing a theme template. You can see that I cannot actually click on this little icon from here because this feature can only be used in Drive Architect. Moving forward, the next option of the right sidebar is the reset template option. And you can use it to bring the template to its original state before you started customizing it. So now you can see that after I've reset my template, the post meta element that I've added right here has disappeared because this was a change that I made in my previous template. And once I reset it, it went back to the default appearance. Lastly, you can switch to the Thrive Architect editor from this option. So just as this little tooltip says, you can start editing your page content if you switch the editors. So whilst the Thrive Team Builder editor is for editing the overall aspect of your theme template, the Thrive Architect one can be used when you want to edit the content you apply that template to. So in this case, my template is applied to this post and of course to the content that belongs to this post in particular, located right here. So it's important to know the difference between editing a post or a page template in Thrive Team Builder and editing its content in Thrive Architect. So when you edit a template in Thrive Team Builder, you're basically customizing the design of the template. So you cannot change the actual content of the page or post you are previewing this template on. So the text from here cannot be changed while I'm in the Thrive Team Builder editor. For that, I have to switch to the Thrive Architect editor from here. And this allows me to quickly jump into editing the content of the post on which I was previewing my template. I can make any change I want here. And then when I'm done, I can simply go back to the Thrive Team Builder editor. Of course, before exiting this editor, I'm going to be asked if I want to save my changes. And of course, I want to do that. All right, so now I'm back in the Thrive Team Builder editor. You can see that the text from here has changed. It has the formatting options that I've made while being in the Thrive Architect editor. But of course, now if I click it while being in the Thrive Team Builder editor, I cannot make any further changes. Now, as always, I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Don't hesitate to check out our knowledge base if you want to learn more about our products.